Tuesday evening, I found yet another <laughs> spot with the internet. <laughs> now, McDonald's in Stafford. I'm going to read the whole of this just because it's beauty. It's beautiful. The third, John third letter, the elder. To my dear friend Caius, whom I love in the truth. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. It gave me great joy to have some brothers come and tell about your faithfulness to the truth and how you continue to walk in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Dear friend, you are faithful in what you are doing for the brothers, even though they are strangers to you. They have told the church about your love. You will do well to send them on their way in a manner worthy of God. It was for the sake of the name that they went out, receiving no help from the pagans. We ought therefore to show hospitality to such men so that we may work together for the truth. I wrote to the church that Diotrephes, who loves to be first, will have nothing to do with us. So if I come, I will call attention to what he is doing, gossiping maliciously about us. Not satisfied with that, he refuses to welcome the brothers. He also stops those who want to do so and puts them out of the church. Dear friend, do not imitate what is evil, but what is a good. Anyone who does what is good is from God. Anyone who does what is evil has not seen the God. Demetrius is well spoken of by everyone and even by the truth itself. We also speak well of him and you know that our testimony is true. I have much to write to you but I do not want to do so with pen and ink. I hope to see you soon and we will talk face to face. Peace to you. The friends here send their greetings. Greet the friends there by name. Such an ordinary letter, isn't it? Just speaking in love to a fellow Christian, John. The apostle whom Christ loved. Brilliant lighting here. Yeah. No music? Mega. Well, I'm not the first. Am I? But we all who truly love you, my Lord, build up, enhance, glorify your name, hallow thy name, in love and fellowship. We're all called to this. Well, perhaps that's not quite true. Those who are called, there is a difference. Uh, must give of their love uh, to all the world. That's how I see it. It is so enheartening, uplifting to be with other Christians, to meet other Christians. So, there we are. <laughs> I love you, my Lord. With all my heart and all my soul and all my mind. Thanks.